goes out at the Infinity Ward Studios to capture footage of DLC 3 content for Infinite Warfare, that being multiplayer maps of Ember, Permafrost, Bermuda, and 4, which are all up on the channel now if you guys want to check those out. But one thing that I've yet to be able to debut until today is the new Infinite Warfare Zombies map, Attack of the Radioactive Thing. Now, I'm really looking forward to streaming this thing once it comes out tonight and tomorrow because it's a high rounder's heaven, and assuming you can get out of the way of or kill the giant Krog as fast as possible, it's relatively easy to breeze through these rounds. But in this one, we won't be talking too much shop, but instead we'll be showing you guys the specific way to do something that is essential to the map, that being turn on the power. As with other power tutorials, once you know it, you know it. And it's incredibly easy after you see it once, but for those that don't know how to do it just yet, this definitely can be something to help you out and set you up initially. In Attack of the Radioactive Thing, power returns to how it was with Raven the Redwoods, where it's one single power switch for the entire map, not sectional or regional power that only powers up a specific point in the map. So, whereas Shaolin Shuffle and Spaceland had those sectional powers, this is not like that. It only has one single power source for the entire map, which makes it nice and very easy to follow, I think, and definitely doesn't make anything too convoluted or too confusing to try and follow. But jumping into it, let's give it a go. Let's show you guys exactly exactly how to do this. First things first, you're gonna need a lot of points. That's the only downside I think with this map is the amount of time that is needed to set up and with that comes points. There's a vast number of doors and barriers you might need to buy, so you'll end up getting power around say round five, six, seven, eight, nine, depending on how many points you can rack up and how fast you can do it. But the main task will be to find the power switch. There's two pieces to this here. Finding the power switch and then adding it to the power box is the second one at the power station. That's the only thing that you really need to do, so it's two simple pieces here with this. Just a little scavenger hunt for the switch to the power and then applying it to the power box in the power station. So from spawn, I don't believe that it matters which way you go theoretically to get to the power switch, which is located on the beach. I think that there's roughly the same amount of doors no matter which way you spin it, but for the sake of saving points to get from the beach back to the power station where you need to ultimately end up, you want to end up taking the right side out of spawn. You can go either right or left, and once you go right out of spawn, you'll be at a little bit of an area where there's an ice cream shop and then a drive-in movie theater. From here, once you have enough points, you want to make your way either up the side street to the power station by the ice cream shop or walk in front of the drive-in theater and then go to the door that's in front of there, but they both lead to the same place, so it doesn't really matter which one. You'll come to see that a lot of this tutorial is just telling you which way to go, but then once you have enough points, you want to make your way through the convenience store at the top of the hill, and once there, you can make your way over to the back side of the street where you can see some pathing to the beach below. Once you're actually over there, you can overlook and see the giant radioactive thing attacking some ships in the ocean, but from there, once again, you want to make your way down to the beach, so you'll have one final barrier to clear, and then when you're down to the beach, you want to look for a zombie hand that is sticking out of the ground holding a switch. Once you find it, which it should be right by the fence on the mound of sand leading towards the catwalk type bridge in the middle, once you have it, simply retrace your steps back and then make your way to the power station. At the back of the fenced off area on the shack wall, there's a power box that is interactable, and all you have to do is place the switch and there you have it. You have power for the entirety of the map. Now a little side note is you'll notice from spawn and once you spawn in initially that you'll have the same black and white feature and gameplay like that of Ascension in Black Ops, but don't worry too much about this there's nothing really you really need to do just make your way towards the power station and once you make your way in it will change to full color the times that I did it it happened on round three every time probably since I opened it at that point but then it also happened whenever I was on the hill by the convenience store overlooking everything so I'm not sure if that has any effect on it at all but either way it's just something that will naturally go away in time once you open up enough space but that said that's the straightforward guide here on how to turn on the power within attack of the radioactive thing the brand new map dropping at as of making this tomorrow for PlayStation 4 users and then 30 days later for PC and Xbox One. But that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. A huge thank you to Infinity Ward and Activision for flying me out to the studios. Let me get this footage here for you guys. It's been an absolute honor and privilege as always to be able to bring this footage to you guys early. And a huge thank you to you guys for continually supporting the videos because without your support, none of this would be possible in any way, shape or form. So thank you guys truly so much for this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel as well, make sure you guys subscribe and stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty, that including Black Ops 3, Multiplayer, and Zombies of Zombies Chronicles, World War 2 with Multiplayer and Zombies, Modern Warfare Master, DLC 3 here on Infinite Warfare, all that good stuff we got you covered here up on the channel. And if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of
TikTok, YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But hopefully you guys are excited for Attack of the Radioactive thing. I know I am. I can't wait for it to drop tonight. I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Nicola Espresso. Take care and peace.